From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Leon Gensley lost the use of his legs during the January 2010 earthquake in Port-au-Prince. But he did not lose hope. He is determined to show Haiti that its 10% handicapped population is worth support and recognition. I'm always moving my body. I'm not the kind of person to stay home inactive. The massive disaster had left hundreds of thousands dead, including Leon's wife and eight children. Many more were injured. Those who suffered severe spinal cord injuries, like Leon, often faced tough times getting medical attention. Dr. Paul Euclid Toussaint, the medical director of the Pascal Toussaint Rehabilitation Center. Before, for someone to have a spinal cord trauma, it meant lying down at home and waiting for an imminent death, either because of complications due to having to stay in bed too long or not being able to stand up and go anywhere. But now, people like Leon are getting a second chance at life. A new rehabilitation center located in the northern city of Cap Hacien is specifically designed to provide rehabilitation for paraplegic patients from the 2010 earthquake. Supported by a charity group, Haiti Hospital Appeal, and the UN Mission in Haiti, the goal is to integrate the disabled into society, says CEO Carwell Hill. They can really uh, prove and, and challenge the this stereotype within Haiti that people with disabilities are worthless and they can prove that actually that's not the case at all and that they need to be a part of their culture, uh, a part of the, you know, the government structure here, a part of, you know, within the employment um, and that persons with disabilities in Haiti deserve the right to, for their voice to be heard. Since I started moving, I've always been trying to do some sports to get stronger. Leon's dream is finally coming true. In an effort to help patients rebuild confidence and get them back on their feet, the center has developed new sports programs and machines like hand cyclers. Leon works tirelessly every day fighting to get his strength back. With help from his trainer, Albert Marty, from the Swiss Foundation for Paraplegics, Leon is competing to qualify for the London 2012 Paralympics. His determination is giving hope to other patients at the center. His trainer, Albert Marty, is now using Leon's example to inspire others to build another sports center for disabled persons in Cartier Morin, a nearby town. He is really motivated and proud of representing Haiti doing sports. He really is a good person to represent our idea for this project. I have to represent Haiti. Normally the president sitting in his palace is the one representing Haiti in front of the entire world. Now I feel the same. I'm like the president representing a country. This report was produced by Alban Mendez de Leon for the United Nations.